Hello and welcome back everyone. It is me, Unique Man Out, and this is my uh, last how to reload uh, video that's being recorded in one day because this is my last video or my last weapon to do a how to reload on. So if you want me to do more how to reloads or falling backwards, uh, or if you want me to redo one of my how to reload videos, put that in the comments down below. But until then, uh, this video uh, needs a build because this is a, uh, well, just like my previous two videos, this is a knife, but as I am calling it, this is a tiger claw knife. It is red, if you can't really tell. It's a bright ass red, too. Uh, with the uh, lack of light and everything, kind of hard to tell, but this is from the uh, uh, unboxing video I did a while back. And it's a very nice uh, knife. But just like my uh, last knife, I, or last video I did, very short, very up close and personal. And this is my shortest blade. Well, no, this is my second to shortest blade. The uh, previous knife is my third shortest, not really sure, but this is one of my shortest blades that I have for a knife. Very small, uh, very light weight, obviously. It is kind of uh, curved too, so when you are holding it, your hand is forced to kind of curve the uh, blade. Uh, well, first let me talk about this handle, because this handle is kind of odd, really. It only has three finger holds, so only three fingers can really fit into it comfortably. You can put all four fingers into it, but it is a little bit abnormal. It's, but I prefer to have all four fingers on the handle, because... Doing it this way just doesn't feel right. And sorry for the up close face thing. But yeah, uh, when I wield this, I wield it like I covered the entire handle. But when you wield this knife, you can wield it however you want. Okay? The uh, blade, top of it, just very smooth top bit. The the handle, I mean the bottom of the blade, the bit that you cut a person with, very odd, very unique. Let me uh, grab something real quick. This is a uh, notebook for when I was in school. Uh, the knife. The bottom where you cut a person with is jagged. It came jagged, not through wear and tear or anything. The blade came jagged. Kind of like how a saw would. You have the uh, teeth, kind of, to cut a tree down with. Well, this also has teeth, unlike all of my other swords and knives and everything. So, when you cut something with this, listen. Very, uh, ragged and everything. While, with a uh, normal knife, let me grab out the one from last video, just very smooth, very nice. Very quiet cutting. This, very loud. So, uh, be careful when you cut with this knife, kind of, and the, uh, kind of 
sheath for this. Uh, very small. If you were to wear this out in public, where is it? Very hard to tell. So yeah, uh, white ass boy here. Uh, very nice and everything. Very small and compact. So if you were to be like held up in a dark alley at gunpoint by a robber, just very calmly, very fast, undo it, and bam. It does have a little bit of a click when you uh, grab it out and put it back in. Listen. So the person will know when you do grab it because when you think you try and do it very carefully, listen. It still has a bit of noise to it. So if you are trying to be very careful with it, do you know it does have a sound to it, no matter what you try and do. But unlike most knives where where if you want to grab it, you can grab it on the same side with the same hand as you put it on. This one, for, for my like personal preference, grab, put it on the opposite side. Because if you grab it, you're kind of grabbing it uh, in defense mode I'm putting it. So if you want to grab it for like an attack mode, put it on the opposite side, really. Because where a normal knife, uh, you would be grabbing it just like this. This guy, you're grabbing it kind of like you would grab a gun. So when you do, or if you do, use this knife and sheath on your belt, for when you go into battle, put it on your opposite hip side. So I'm usually right-handed. I usually fight right-handed. So this will usually be on my left hip. Sometimes I do fight with my left hand, but when it is on my left or uh, right hip, I have to grab it weirdly. So, this blade, how it was made, was made for right handed people, really. Unless you do grab it on your right hip or you do grab it in defense mode, you can if you want. I just prefer to grab it ready to attack with, not defend with. Even though you can easily transition it into the other mode. I prefer to grab it ready to attack. But yeah, that is my uh, last weapon to do a how to build on. So as I said at the be beginning, uh, put down in the comments if you want me to redo one of my older how to build videos, or if you want me to do one of the uh, one day uh, recording session videos I did, put that in the comments down below. And uh, if you have a specific uh, show off skills video you want me to do with one of these weapons, Put that down in the comments down below. So, yeah, kind of interact with me in the comments down below. But before you get down into the comments, just subscribe to this channel so you know when I'm not having a long break and I'm actually recording and uploading videos. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. So you are notified when I do upload ever again. Could be in a week, could be tomorrow, could be 
next month. I don't know. You don't know. But when I do upload, you will be notified if you hit that bell. So, ah, uh, just sitting down. So, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, share this with your friends and families, neighbors, uh, students, classmates, teachers, co-workers, employees, employers, bosses, everyone and anyone. If they are able to subscribe, tell them to so I can get noticed by a YouTube senpai so they can uh, give me money. So I am all motivated to do these videos. Basically, you subscribe, YouTube gives me money, I upload videos. Basically, that's how it works. Uh, I hit that like button, button too, so YouTube gives me even more money. I'm selling out here. Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Uh, until then, I'll see you later. Stay unique. Peace out.